Welcome back to Rover's Morning Glories Fight Fest. I mean, we are so excited. Of course, we got a big event coming up on the 23rd of this month. Everybody excited. You can see it live in Cleveland. Of course, keep it on Rover's Morning Glory to find out how to get tickets, everything else. But uh, really, uh, McAllen, Texas is where we're going to be at tonight. It's, it's going to be exciting. What's down in McAllen, exciting. Texas, anyway? Well, right now, there's a lot of fighters down there. A lot I mean, of fighters. It is going on. This place is packed. Fight Fest has jammed the house, and it's going to be some exciting. What excitement. were you doing down there? Partying, Jeff? Uh, well, I was checking out the action at the uh, okay. Dodge Theater. That's the place we were at. Very mm -hmm. nice, the Dodge Theater. Okay, let's go back there now. Our first fight of the night, a guy named Durbin going up against Mars. All right, a pair of 170 pounders going in this one. Ryan Durbin taking on Clayton Mars. The ring girls already in the ring. Of course, you know, this is a big part of uh, Fight Fest. They will be uh, here in Cleveland on the uh, 23rd of this month. Absolutely, absolutely. There'll be some Midwestern girls up there helping out with the fight. We're going to see Durbin and Mars. Both guys come in with a 1-0 record. And Durbin with a lot of momentum. He just won in May on our Fight Fest event in Corpus Christi. Beating Kevin Roberts is going to try to make it 2-0 if he can beat Clayton Mars here. Now, I know Pluto is no longer a planet, but Mars not doing bad himself. <laughs> he won his debut over Jared McManus three years ago. So, I mean, the guy's got to be around a while. Well, it looks as though Mars might come out a little rusty. I don't know what he's been doing for the past three years, but we don't have any record on him. So this might be, uh, be kind of interesting to see where he's at. Now, even though Mars is the red planet, let's remember that Durbin is wearing the red trunks. I can tell you this, these guys right now, I mean, 170 pounds, you got to be cut up. We saw some heavyweights, uh, you know, fighting in this game. This really uh, fight fast actually goes to anybody. I mean, it doesn't matter how much you weigh, right? You always Absolutely. find an opponent. Different weight categories. A lot of times these guys will cut down. It's not uncommon for these guys to cut 10, 15 pounds a couple days out before a fight. Nice but takedown by Mars. Goes right into side control here. Beautiful position. Mars will start working for uh, ground and pound or submission at this point in the game. He's got side mount. Wants to stay tight. He wants to stay low on this guy. Working some knees. I'm watching here, I mean, it, it, tell us exactly, I mean, it, when they're doing the moves, I know in different wrestling moves there's a thing called the fireman. Is there like a favorite move for Fight Fest? Yeah, it depends, fits? you know, you get a guy on the ground who likes jiu-jitsu, a lot of these guys like arm bars, some of them like key locks, some of them like uh, chokes. It just depends upon the, uh, the gym and the fighter himself. Well, generally, Chuck, when you're on the ground like this, you want to be able to be either on top of your man in a mount or like this in a side mount to be able to rain down those punches. So. If you can, that's the kind of control that you want that Mars has right here. So Mars, now Mars has, is on offense, and uh, Mars has got top mount. It yeah, could be a bad day for for Durbin right now. Durbin is in a bad position. He's got to get him down. He's got to get him off of him and come up and out of that. My goodness, he's just taking Mars all is going to rain some bullets on him. Right Durbin's now. turning. He's got a rear choke. Oh, he's got hooks. his back. This uh, this should pretty much be, be done. He's got a rear choke sunk on him. Got one hook in that I see possibly. You think he'll get out of the first round? I don't believe so. Not looking at this right now. Durbin's in bad position. Mars has got to bring that left foot around and get double hooks in on him. And it's That's done. it. It's over. Just like that. Rear naked choke. Submission. A rear naked choke that is called. What exactly is a rear naked choke? You get behind your man, pull back on his throat, and he has no choice but to tap out. I'll tell you this. Mars is one tough cookie. Good fight by Mars. Very good. Very well done. He's been out of it for, uh, it looks to be three years. He came out. He did a nice job. I'm not going to get on Durbin, but physically, the guy at 170 pounds doesn't look like he's that svelte. Well, he's not. He's not. Some of these guys come out. Believe it or not, appearances can be deceiving. You gotta, some of these guys come out, they don't look so good, but they are cardio machines. Well, it looks like he's, he's still a tough guy, I believe you. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I say the guy's in spell, I'm just being a smart aleck. To, to get in there, I mean, you know, even to get in there, he's a tough guy. There's no question about that. Got a lot of heart even to get inside that cage. I mean, that is a big deal. Clayton Mars got to feel good about himself, doesn't he, Jeff? That's right. It was a tough fight. Big win. It is 2-0 uh, now. 2-0 and oh for, uh, boy. Clayton Mars. I mean, that was a dominant, dominant fight. Dominant position from the word go. Good fight for Mars. Now, I noticed something in this last fight. There was a lot of bleeding. Okay, the guy's elbow's bleeding, his face is bleeding. Unlike boxing, when, when does the referee have to step in and say enough's a, enough? A lot of that's superficial. It's a, if it's above the eye and it's, a, it's uh, infecting their, affecting their vision, they'll stop the fight. If not, they let it go. All right, Clayton Mars, your winner. The rear naked choke. I kind of like the way that rings. I mean, I never, I never said that on television. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Well, obviously Durbin's got some wrestling background, and when these wrestlers get in there, as novices such as Durbin did, they get in there and they, they do what they've done. They get down on all fours and they try to come out of it. What a guy that's versed in jiu-jitsu will do, Chuck, because he gets behind him, digs hooks, comes up, hits the choke, and the fight's over, and the fight's over very quickly. That's right. It can happen very quickly. That's really one of the most devastating holes in mixed martial arts is the rear naked choke, and the best way to avoid it is not to let your opponent get behind you, because once he is, you're just about through. I'll tell you, I mean, when you just, you're just yelling rear naked choke, is there a front naked choke? Not really. There's different things you can do from the front, like the guillotine choke or the triangle, things like that. Steve, i got to ask you this. I mean, you're watching these fights. If this guy doesn't tap out, let's say, if somebody's doing that choke hold on him, if, if this it choke goes is until in, you're done, or does the referee if, come in if, before if, you suffocate? If this guy doesn't tap out, this guy will go out. He's got two choices. He taps out or he gets 
put out unconscious. And it just knocks you out cold. Absolutely. He's cutting off the blood to both sides of the neck. He's going out or he's going to tap. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, but, but you say the referees are always watching this thing. That's right. Usually a fighter will tap out, but uh, if the, he's going unconscious, the referee will have to step in to protect the uh, fighter. All right, we got some big fights coming up here. Mm -hmm. I, I mean,